This is Dave at TitleSearch.com. We have a lot of inquiries um, to our company about how to become a title searcher or how to do title searches. Look, we've been doing title research for um, over 25 years and uh, we've seen many different changes in the industry. Um, it may seem tempting right now to look at doing your own title searches because of the increase in activity in real estate. So for uh, those who would aspire to become a professional title abstractor, uh, there are a great many opportunities. For those who are looking at uh, title searches for their own use, for example, uh, foreclosure investors um, or even investigators, learning how to do title searches um, has some merit. There are four basic understandings and things to look at. First of all, the title records um, method is something that um, is often misunderstood by people outside the industry. Title records are actually maintained in paper documents, in books. It's not an electronic lookup, it's not a database lookup, it's not something you can do online um, or from home. You actually have to physically visit different government offices to retrieve pieces of paper and read those pieces of paper to see what goes into the property title. Um, each element and each activity of the history of that property, whether it be a deed, a lien, a mortgage, is recorded as a separate piece of paper in a separate book in a big stack or bookcase of deed books going back dozens of years. So the first step is to retrieve those papers, read through them, and understand them. So the first thing is to make sure that you're not looking for something to do that's online or electronic because a title search doesn't reflect that. Now, if that's okay, um, the next thing is to look at to look at as a professional pursuit because that's going to be the only way to build long-term success in title searching. Uh, otherwise, it's better to outsource it to somebody else to let them uh, do the research. A typical title search is about five to nine man hours of search time plus about another half an hour 45 minutes of abstracting where you're putting together the report um, so uh, that's usually the time frame that goes into most searching in most parts of the country uh, there are also um, challenges from outsourcing to offshore companies who may do cheap electronic sources uh, electronic searches um, for lower common denominator type clients who really don't need a full search so make sure that as you're looking at building your business as a title abstractor you're looking at uh, sticking with clients who need an actual genuine title search for serious legitimate reasons not for clients who just need basic information where a real title search isn't needed and that gets into the fourth element of becoming a title searcher as a profession which is client development there are many segments of business um, that may be potential clients for title searching. Um, one is uh, the real estate industry. So um, clients that are uh, mortgage companies, title companies um, may actually be good sources of business, although some mortgage companies and title companies are looking to that lowest common denominator for just a quick, cheap, easy electronic search uh, that may be something that uh, is done overseas uh, for a low amount of money. But there are clients that are out there who appreciate the value of an actual title search uh, and want to um, you know get something that's genuine from a professional title examiner which is why if you're going to pursue this to make sure that you're looking at it as a profession something you want to be great at something you want to really know all the ins and outs of doing so that you're not just a commodity that it goes to the lowest bidder you want to be an expert in your field and to be very well known as providing the highest quality service and accuracy because face it with a title search the only thing that you have to offer is accuracy uh, somebody doesn't want a piece of paper with numbers on it they want an accurate search anybody can type up a piece of paper that says this is the title search, here's the liens, here's the mortgages. If it's not accurate, it means nothing. Um, so becoming professional, um, knowing all the best practices and in industry uh, research that goes into a title search uh, is important. Two places to do that, you can look at NALTIA, which is a National Association of Land Title Examiners. They have a certification program. You need to have experience. It can't be a new title searcher. You have to have done this for a few years. Uh, there's also a resource called abstractors.com where you can type in your information and maybe get some uh, requests for business um, from other uh, potential clients. Um, either way, if you have questions about becoming a title abstractor, you can reach us at titlesearch.com. 
we can give you some suggestions and there may be also some information on the methods of doing a title search at that website.